put that air conditioner back in. Woo! It's going to stick up like that the whole time, ain't it? Yup. And I'm going to let it too. Woo! Hot. Very hot. Okay. Kind of excited. I ain't going to hold you. All right. Let's go. No. It's like you missed your own hand. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinnie McKell. Thank you so much for being with me today. Today is a very, very exciting video. I... We got to talk about the body glazes, okay? And we just have a lot to discuss today. So just be prepared. Because we got a lot to talk about. Before we get into the body glazes. You know I have to always thank my amazing, beautiful, incredible subscribers. You guys are amazing. 10 out of 10, highly recommend P.O.P. Hold it down to the system level squad in the building. Um, What else I want to say? Y'all uh, are great. <laughs> Y'all are amazing. Um... The launch for what's coming next. It's going to kind of be two launches because I want the first thing to kind of be its own thing. And then we'll do another one that has like the whatever else I'm doing with the clothes and stuff. But the first one is going to be its own thing. Okay. Some of y'all have guessed what it is. Some of y'all are very off. <laughs> Some of y'all have no idea. I dropped a hint in my... Spring perfume combos video. I dropped a hint on what the drop is, and some it went over some people's heads completely. And some people are like, "Yes, I can't wait!" But it's so funny. But either way, it's coming soon. I'm super excited. I love y'all because I know either way y'all are gonna support, and that means I mean that like I can't get my words together. That's how much y'all support means. Y'all support in every way. Y'all show up in every way, and I just am grateful for y'all. So. Without further ado, if you don't know, Canvas Beauty dropped eight new body glazes. And I sat here on this camera and told y'all that I was not going to buy all eight because that was just irresponsible. And sitting here before you, I have to tell you that I did buy all eight. So, see what had happened was, okay, I was on the line right at 2 o'clock on the dot, okay? And, first of all, where, how do I want to... Okay, 2 o'clock on the dot, and it was a TikTok live, but it wasn't just her live from, like, her, her warehouse or, or her, mm -mm, or her hotel like it normally is. She had a full-on, basically, like, QVC, but at, tic, but at TikTok. Full launch on live for six hours, showing the product, talking about the product. They built a whole beautiful setup, a whole stage. She had some special guests come in. They gave her the full, full full rollout and it was actually beautiful to see it was actually beautiful to see to see a black woman it's a black woman owned business to see tiktok take her seriously enough to give her that opportunity it was just i have a lot of thoughts and feelings about everything i'm not going to get into it. i'm going to get into it at the end of the video but um anyway i still have to say i was on the live right at two o'clock and so you know she's doing her qvc thing you know talking about it she was like and we're doing a um a bundle deal right so she got me i always fall for the okie doke i do i'm i'm a gullible when it comes to shopping she was like if you own early we only doing a special price on the bundle deal if you own live early child they was what they was doing was offering it they always had a bundle deal, but then they will reduce the price. Then you can use a coupon on top of that reduced price and get it for a certain amount. Then it would be on for up for like five minutes and they would take it away and bring back the regular price bundle deal. Then they would just circulate that throughout the lab. But I wasn't playing no games. And so they had the bundle deal. That's what I really came to say. They had the bundle deal. And it was like, if you buy six, you basically get two for free for the price, right? So it wasn't, so the they had it where you could buy a bundle, right? All eight of them. You don't have to click them individually by eight. However, they had, they would do certain ones. Where it would, they would take off the price of one of them. And then if you use the coupon, you could get the other one as well. So, it's, so it came down to you're buying six and, get, and getting two for free. Well, at the point at which I'm paying for six, and I had already had like four or five. I was toying between four and five that were in my cart. And at the point that I'm already at five, <laughs> I might as well get six and then get all eight. So 
So it really wasn't my fault. It really was girl math. And basically, I got two for free. So that's really what you need to focus on. It's not that I bought eight. It's that I got two free. Girl math. So anyway. Whoa. I'm just going to smell them first. And then I'm going to share my thoughts about. Do I want to share it at the end or now? Yeah, I'll share it at the end. So I have not uh, unboxed, unpackaged none of these. We're going to do it live together. Okay. So the first one here. Also, too. I know y'all ready to talk about it, but I ordered this. The drop was on, the drop was on like Wednesday. Wednesday. I think the stuff my thing got here on Friday, so they weren't playing no games. So this is Body Glaze Orange Dream Sickle. Okay. Um, she's got some new labeling. She's got some other things on here about can fragrances change. On the side it says Body Glaze. It says Did you know Body Glaze is a cured product you have to dig in to get the full scent just sniffing me won't give you the full effect i am not a lotion or a body butter i am body glaze you have to apply me to your skin and let me dry down for at least five minutes and then you will discover the true magic of my scent okay she so she's taking everything to the next level okay cool so orange dream sickle she is providing notes so let's get into that i think the package and everything looks so pretty okay so the scent notes, the top is sweet cream and ripe clementines. The mid, no, the mid notes are orange sherbet and freshly squeezed orange juice. And the dry is vanilla ice cream. Okay. Okay. I've never seen it come like this before. I almost think it melted in transit because it's normally all solid at the top. Hold on. It don't want to. I'll take a picture of it and show y'all so y'all can see how it looks. But it's not normally like this. I think it melted. It's normally just all solid at the top. I can smell it from here though. I will tell you that. So let's just give a preliminary smell. So I am going to put a little on. Okay, this one is good. This one is good. This is giving exactly what the notes are saying. This is giving... Orange Dream Sickle. It really smells like kind of like an orange. I shouldn't rub that all over me because I got other things to smell. Orange. Um, if you like the orange vanilla, is it orange vanilla twist from Bath and Body Works? So you would like that. If you like orange drip, orange Dream Sickle type type of scent, then you will like this. It's a. I get a little bit of the wax. I think that's what I'm smelling. Smelling when I say I smell like something. What do I say? Mechanical type of smell? I don't know. But I think people are saying it's probably the wax that I'm smelling. I smell a little bit of wax. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit because normally the wax is competing with the scent. This I smell predominantly orange. Orange. It's not very... It's like an orange popsicle. Orange milkshake, I wouldn't say, but like orange popsicle. I give you that. I give you that 100%. Okay. The next one is Key Lime Divine, okay? Okay, the notes for Key Lime Divine are whipped cream, cinnamon sugar, Key Lime Zest, graham, cra graham cracked crust custard, vanilla bean, musk, and brown sugar. Sounds so amazing. Okay, this one arrived fine. It's a little melted, but it's still the typical body glaze that I'm used to. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Okay, that's kind of good. It's so from the jar, I immediately was like, it's. Hold on. It's it's something on the tip of my tongue that it's reminding me of. You know, it is giving me a little, and I know it's gonna sound crazy. It's giving me a little of yum pistachio gelato. I know, I know, I know. I don't. I know it doesn't make any sense. Am I saying it's a dupe for Yum Pistachio Gelato? No, but there's something in Yum Pistachio Gelato that remind that's in here or similar to it, but more more of the graham cracker crust and all the extra stuff to it. On my skin, I get mo I get straight like the lime. This is actually kind of good. On my skin, I get the lime more so and the crust or something. Maybe something vanilla or something like that. But from the from the jar, I'm immediately I was like, what is reminding me of it? If something in the from the smelling it in the jar that reminds me of something that I smell in Young Pistachio Gelato. 
this so far so far it's really feeling like they took their time and made something out of it. made something okay this is banana cream pie and the notes for this are buttermilk toasted almond banana custard flaky pie crust coconut cream powdered sugar and tonka bean okay this one looks perfect Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Y'all. So far, even from the jar, you can smell it. And I mean, smell it, smell it. Oh, yes. This is giving, it's giving banana Laffy Taffy, but just not quite as sweet. As banana laffy taffy is banana laffy taffy is you're like immediately like a cavity this is giving I can't say I'm getting all the other as of right now because let me tell you these body glazes do change like perfume like when you first use it you may feel a certain type of way and you come back and make it stronger like because that happens to me with the strawberry one so they do change so this is just right now first impressions Flaky pie crust, um, talk, I don't know, I'm not getting all that, but I am getting banana, a sweet banana. I get a little, this is actually made really, really good. Because I can't pick out the notes individually, which is not a bad thing, because it's feel like it's blended quite well. This banana is pretty good. So far, I ain't had no duds yet. So far. Okay. This is Grapefruit Galore. This is one of the ones that when I was not going to get all eight, I was like, okay, I can skip out on grapefruit because I don't know how many grapefruit scents I have, if any. So I was like, okay, I can pass on that. But then, you know. <laughs> so the notes for this are Sun Ripened Citrus, Fuzzy Peach, Pink Grapefruit Blossoms, Black Currant, and Rose, Fresh per mm. Freshly Picked Raspberries, Sugared Musk, and Vanilla. I'm smelling something. Even though my hand not next to it, I smell something. What's the first one? That orange? Because they all are getting stronger even as I sit here. Okay. Okay, this one is perfect. Oh. Oh. This from the jar? I'm not going to put this on, but from the jar? Well, I should because sometimes they kind of change on your skin. Um, From the jar, it's literally given what it says. That grapefruit is potent, but it's not tart, but it's grapefruit. <laughs> it's like in your face grapefruit. You know, on the hand, on the finger, it is a little bitter. Not bitter, there's something a little like, it's like a realistic grapefruit. And anybody who eating grapefruit, you know grapefruit can actually be a little bitter, a little tart. So it doesn't feel bitter in a bad way. It feels a little bitter like how grapefruit is a little bitter. This is still very, but it's also giving me like, this could easily be a, a plug-in, like a wall plug-in, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. There's just like a, maybe there's an effervescence about it. I don't know. But there's something that makes you feel like, you know, there's, I think there's a cleaning product or something. And uh, one of the scents is grapefruit something. It's reminding me of that. Is there a soap or an Ajax or something? And I'm not saying it in a bad way, but it makes me think of that. It's good though. It's good. And if you like grapefruit, because there I can't I don't think there's many scents or body care or things that have grapefruit in it more or less as a prominent note. So I like that. I'm gonna have ooh. It's juicy too though. It's a juicy grapefruit. That it feels like a like a scent that I like would like plug in the wall or something. Okay. Ooh, the perfect pair. Y'all, I hope I love this. Fresh honey crisp apple, juicy pear, and sweet pea. Sugar cubes, fresh vanilla blossoms, floral musk. Ooh. No, this is it. This is it. Oh, this also smells like something else. I, hold on. There's some, it's, it's giving me something. Yes. This is it, though. This is it. Um, it's something. It reminds me of something. I can't think of what it is, but it's good. Mm, is there vanilla? This is another, another scent that gives me, it could be, it feels like, 
like it's supposed to be a wall plug in like there's a, a I don't know is that where I'm looking for heaviness or well you know when you get the wall plug ins up they're super heavily concentrated and I think that's what I'm comparing what why they're feeling reminiscent to me if there's a, like a heavy concentration type of feel to it I don't think that makes sense but if you like, what is the scent that I'm thinking of? Is it Pear, Pear Creme Brulee from Bath and Body Works? Is that what I'm thinking of? I think it's Pear Creme Brulee that I'm thinking of from Bath and Body Works. I think if you like that, then I think you'll like this. She's, she's knocking it out the park so far. So far, this is giving really good. Okay, this is Pin, Pina, Pina Culada. Tropical Fruit Rum Punch Ripe pineapple i don't know why i said it like that coconut milk tonka bean sweet vanilla this one also arrived weird i don't know why some of them are like coming in solid and some of them coming like they're already kind of melted but when products like this like body butters and stuff that's to be expected and that's why a lot of people stop shipping um body butters when it gets i can smell it from here Woo! Woo! <laughs> that's why a lot of people stop shipping body butters in the summertime because they do melt in transit and then people like um you know they get upset or th different things happen but she gonna have to put like a little cooling pack or something in there but i can literally smell this butter and i have not put it up to my nose yet or this glaze and i have not put it up to my nose yet it literally smells like what you think it said what it says i smell the pineapple i smell the coconut it is literally it smells exactly like what it says it's a pina colada scent it's really it's not a very nice tropical oh i done dipped this whole jar in that um very nice tropical fruity you're immediately drinking a pina colada immediately Ooh, it gets even better on the skin i ain't gonna hope that pineapple is coming through in just the right way child this thing this stuff thing got everywhere it's actually really good really good and i it's messy but that was my fault. And I tell you, I'm all glazed up. I don't know if I'm being able to smell, smell the rest of these. Okay. Cucumber melon. Succulent cucumber, honeydew melon, and water lily, wild violet petals, velvety, and sweet musk. And let me just tell you, I, you know, Bath Mighty Works kind of ruined cucumber melon for me. Because, of course, we all wore cucumber melon back in the day. Then they continuously, 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 continuously brought it back. So, I just kind of have was like anti-cucumber melon because they just overdid it. But I had to come to realize, I still like cucumber melon fragrances. And I need to not let them, that's the body works to ruin it for me. So, I think I bought a perfume oil of cucumber melon recently. And I've been like, being honest with myself and being like, girl, you like cucumber melon. It's okay. <laughs> you can like it. Anyway. Oh, I smell this one from here. If you like Bath and Body Works Cucumber Melon, you'll like this. It smells exactly like what it says. This one is not as strong as the other one. Well, I only put the oil. Hold on. Let me put a real one on. Let me actually grab some product and put it on. I can smell it. So far, this one is the lightest of all of them. I do definitely smell Honeydew Melon. Like, I can clearly smell that that's what it is. This one is the lightest because I'm getting just the faintest bit of wax as well. I would have liked this one to be strong like the other one. So far, all the other ones are like, they're strong. This is the lightest one so far. I can still smell it, but it's not thumping like the other ones are. That's the lightest one as of right now. And I think this is the last one. The last one is Blueberry Bay. The notes for this are succulent berries and whipped meringue. Blueberry swirl and strawberry cream, whipped vanilla bean, and brown sugar. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is... This is a very artificial blueberry. Okay. Kind of a little juvenile. I'm not going to hold you, but I still do like it. Um, It's a very kid-like blueberry scent. This... So, it's, it smells nice. I do like it. But if you want, it's not, like, if you've ever smelled, like, blueberry musk, the Arabian perfume, it's not like that. It's more closer to how the Escada blueberry one is. Escada Party Love or something. It's definitely more 
kid like like it reminds me of like did we have like lip smackers or, or like a purple gloss we used to have that was blueberry scented or flavored kind of like that I still like it though but just keep that in mind so I think that are, those are all eight of them oh should I rank these mm. okay the last one I would probably mm. The last one I'm going to say is going to be Cucumber Melon, only because it's the weakest of all of them. The one after that would probably, so that's eight. Number seven would probably be Blueberry Bay, only because I don't see myself reaching for this as much because of how kind of artificial and juvenile it is. But I still like it. But I'm going to make that number seven. I'm going to make number six, Grapefruit galore not because it's bad not because it's not potent but because this is another one where I'm going to have to find and create specific times to wear this because this is a very specific scent and I don't know if it's going to go with everything and mess with everything so only number six for that reason but it's still going strong it's very nice it's accurate to what it says but I'm gonna make that number six Number five, I think it's going to be Orange Dreamsicle only because I think I have another Orange Dreamsicle scent that I like more. And I feel like it could be a little bit stronger and I feel like they could have made it more. I just have other Orange Dreamsicle scents that I think are done a little bit better. Um, Indulgent Spa, which is another black owned business, they have a body butter or whatever of orange dreamsicle top tier um who's the other one there's another black love yanni i think they i have orange dream that's the other thing is because i already have a quite a few other orange dreamsicle scents anyway so out of the ones that i have this wouldn't be the top so that's why that's going to be number eight seven six five okay it's getting hard I'm going to say Forest Pina Colada. Not because it isn't good, but because... Oh, it's actually really good. Hold on. Am I sure about this? Hold on. Woo! I might have to change my mind. Hold on. Number four is going to be Key Lime Divine. I changed my mind. Number four is Key Lime Divine. Is that right? Okay, that's right. So number four is going to be Key Lime Divine. Um, only because I feel like I wish there was more of the... I wish I could pick up the crust and the tonka bean and all those other things that they were saying in there. I wish I was getting more of that in there. So, like the cinnamon sugar, the graham crack crust, vanilla bean, musk brown sugar. I don't get any of that. I get a really bright fruit, which is the lime. And that's pretty much it. I get a little of the other stuff. I do get a little of the other stuff, but I wish it was a little bit more. So, it's going to be number four. Okay, number three is going to be Pina Colada because, ooh, wait, <laughs> this is so hard. Ugh. Oh, man, 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 man. No, I got to change. Number three is banana cream pie. It's banana cream pie. It's a solid banana. It's very good. It's going to go. Can you imagine when I wear this with um, Bananas Brulee from Dark Heads Roma, which is also a black owned business, or my um, banana perfume oil from The Scent For You? Whatever I wear this with, however I lay this with, layer, it's going to be amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. No questions asked. So good. So good. Okay, number two is going to be Pina, Pina Culotta. Um, Though it is a typical Pina Colada scent, it's that tropical. It's there. The pineapple comes through in such a beautiful way. So good. So, so, so good. You cannot go wrong. If you like Pina Colada scents, you're going to love this. It's so good. It's just good. It's just good. Okay. Number one. The perfect pair. The perfect pair. I have found myself really enjoying scents like this. Okay. My battery had camera overheated or something. Anyway. Number one is the perfect pair. Um, I have been really, really, really enjoying scents like this. As of late. It's, it's a sweet pair, but there's something else that's in here. I'm not sure what it is, but. I've just been on like a pear kick and this is just perfect. When, oh, I didn't even realize the perfect pear. It just really is. If you enjoy juicy pears, 
fruity pears. If you enjoy, if you've been enjoying what I say, um, pear creme brulee. I think there's something else I'm thinking of. Do I have anything else pear? I don't know, but it's great. I love it. I'm enjoying I, I like them all, honestly. So, the reason why I got all eight too, not for just for selfish reasons, I was thinking about y'all too and like, oh my God, how they gonna really know which ones to get? They need go, they gonna have to have somebody to give an honest review of all of them so they can really make an honest, a, a good decision. So I really took the L for y'all because that's how much I love y'all. That's really what it is. So now that we've done all of them and, and all the things, we got we we're gonna have to talk because how do I want to say it? There has been some discourse. I've seen some people have DM'd me, some people have commented on uh some posts I've made and some videos about Stormy overall and about Canvas Beauty as a brand overall. And here is my position. Um for all intents and purpose, this is still a relatively new business. Body Glaze is still a new concept, a new thing. And we are watching her develop and grow it in real time. Okay? Though she may have a warehouse and all the things, like she scaled up her warehouse, she's moved into new warehouses. Like we're watching her transition and change and do things in real time. And that is beautiful to see. As a black woman, as a woman, black woman from the South, um, these, are, these are just things that are beautiful to see. Um, and I just want us to be mindful that number one, we're watching her scale this business in real time. Having that said, are there mistakes that happen? Yes. Is there some, probably some consistency problems with like getting different batches and some batches smell better than others and all the things? Yes. But that is not exclusively a Stormy issue. That is not exclusively a Canvas Beauty issue. Um, Bath and Body Works is the number one offender for things like that. And they've been in business and doing this for a very, very, very long time. So I said, what did I, why did I compare the two? Because if I can give Bath and Body Works grace, I can give Canvas Beauty grace. If I can give Victoria's Secret grace, I can give Canvas Beauty grace. Um, <clears throat> so that's the first thing I want to say is... I don't believe any business is above reproach, whether black owned or not, whether woman owned or not. I don't believe any business is above reproach. So if it's your truth that you got a a, a body glaze and a batch was bad, hey, that's reality. That's the truth. There's nothing wrong with that. Or there's nothing wrong with you sharing your truth if that's what happened. If you just didn't have a good experience or whatever the case, that is your truth. Like, it's okay. You know, whatever. Um, But I am choosing the position of giving her grace to figure it out and get it right because there are businesses who've been in existence for way 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 longer have way more resources and they still mess up and they still get it wrong we haven't had a, a vanilla bean noel from bath and body works that's been the same probably since it came out they have been releasing different iterations and different versions of that for forever like Victoria's Secret, I, there have been times I order something that was on back order and I forgot, they forgot, and like two months later I had to get a refund. Like things happen within businesses and I'm not making excuses for her, but I'm saying I'm not going to hold her to this super high standard that I don't hold these other companies to. So if that has been your experience, if you didn't have a bad if you didn't have a good experience, I understand that it is your right to support or not support whoever you choose. Having that said, I'm not going to call her a scammer. And I'm not going to not support her business just because a couple people or you may have heard a couple people didn't have a good experience. That is not enough for me personally to completely write her off and the whole business and the whole business just because of a few bad instances. That's not enough for me, especially because it is a black owned business and it is a woman owned business. That does not mean she's above reproach. That does not mean I can't say give suggestions because I'm going to tell you, Storm, if you see this, you're going to have to add some little cooling packs to these body glazes in the summertime because they're melting. Okay. You're going to have to add that to the rotation. But I'm not, a, she's not above reproach. The business is not, a, is not above, repro above reproach. But it's not at the point where I am comfortable with saying she's a scammer and just because a couple people, people have had missing orders, like, that just feels like the ebbs and flow of growing a business 
to me personally. So that's my take on that. I, I don't feel comfortable calling her a scammer. And as in my experience, I've gotten everything that I've ordered. I've never ordered from something from her and didn't get it. Um, camera's finna die. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say was a lot of people were also saying, like, you can get it on Alibaba. I guess Alibaba has the same thing, but I guess it's supposed to be cheaper and the same ingredients and all that thing. I don't know who Ali or Baba is, okay? And <laughs> when it comes to putting things on my body, I just, I don't, I don't know how comfortable I feel with something that... I don't even know what Alibaba is. Like when you go on the website, it's it's um it's a marketplace for like everything. And, and like who is making the products? Who's the manufacturer? Like where is it coming from? I have too many questions to go on there and just order the I guess it because it's cheaper. Just I, I just don't feel comfortable with that. Now if that's what you decide to do, that's on you. There ain't no shame, ain't no judgment. Um but that's not just, just not something that I want to do specifically because I'm like using it on my body and from an unverified source that's like I would never order body lotions or anything from like AliExpress or Shein or Timu then be ordering perfumes and stuff that's just not for me I just uh -uh. <laughs> not that um so if I'm not promoting I'm not condoning I'm not um Telling you to do that is what I'm saying. So, I don't know. I just, I'm not at the point yet where I'm willing or ready to just write off the whole business because some people, which I'm sure, oh, you know what? That's what it's reminding me of. There's a body oil from Sugar Mama Fragrances called Harvest Something. I think the perfect pair is, is reminding me of that. I think that's exactly what I'm getting. Because it's, I think that's what it is. Anyway, what was I even saying? I think I was just saying I'm not at the point where I feel comfortable writing off the whole business and calling her a scam or a fraud because some people didn't get their orders or because some people had a bad experience, which I'm, sure, I'm not negating that they did. I just don't believe that's enough for me to discredit this black owned woman owned business that we are watching grow in real time and also just to as a person as a black person as a woman as a black person a woman who has dreams and big dreams it is for me beautiful to see it happen for somebody else in real time yes she had already grown canvas beauty brand to a significant amount she already had warehouses she was already making great money but the way Bonnie Blaze has taken off and literally propelled her into another level and I watching it in real time. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too sensitive about it, but it's beautiful to see and to see her say not just I think Bonnie Blaze came out in 2023, maybe the end of 2022 to watch it scale and to watch her her creativity and her brain. So, OK, we're not just going to do one. Let's do another one and then continue to add come out with different scents no it's not perfect no they're not always right yes some of the batches are bad this to me i see it as growing pains that's really what i'm saying is because i feel like i'm watching her scale in real time i feel like this is just growing pains and i feel like she's honestly trying i feel like she's listening to her audience i feel like she's trying to do new things she's supposed to be coming out with samples i seen it on her TikTok. She was posting about it. She's supposed to be coming out with samples. And I think candles. Like, she's listening to her audience and changing and pivoting in real time. And because of that, my position just is, I'm just going to continue to support. Does that mean I'm going to buy every single thing every time? No, but I am, I personally, I just am not going to use my platform at this time to discredit her business or call her a fraud at this stage. If my supporting her makes you feel some type of way I'm sorry but I just not yet not for me not personally so that was a lot but I wanted because I, uh, I had people DM me I uh, saw comments about it and um so yeah it, it was a topic of conversation so I wanted to make sure I addressed it and talked about it but yeah those are my thoughts that's everything 
I think she did an amazing, amazing, amazing job with literally all of the body glazes. There's not a single one in here that's bad or that's terrible. Do you need all eight? Absolutely not. <laughs> you don't need all eight. There's a couple in here that's absolutely bangers though. Absolutely, absolutely bangers. And I really see some of these getting better with time. The only thing, like I said, some of these melted really, really bad. I've never had them melt like that before. But it also was like 80 degrees today. And it ain't been that warm in Michigan all year. So I'm sure it was just a kind of uh, melting in transit, you know, whatever. She's going to have to do some ice packs or something to keep it from melting. But overall, she did a really, really, really good job with this release. And yeah, so head over to the after party. Let me know what you think. You can comment on whatever. Um, if you feel like, <laughs> you know, I'm wrong and she's a fraud, you can tell me that too, whatever the case may be. But just talk to me. I always love to hear from you all. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.